log base 7 for sure. Now here's the question. I need you to look up here because this is another mistake that people, people often give me. I'm going to show these mistakes to you. That way you don't make them. A lot of times people confuse this. And they say, oh, well, log base 7 of 40 minus log base 7 of 8. Well, that should be log base 7 of 40 over log base 7 of 8. Do you see how they could make that mistake? When you're combining logarithms, you're changing two logarithms into one logarithm. Not one logarithm over another logarithm. You see there's, there's not another logarithm over there. It's, it's really combining your logarithms. It's changing two of them into one of them using that property. That's kind of nice. This is, this is worse. You, you don't want to have that. It's not simplifiable. You couldn't do anything with it. Are we going to see this in some places? Yeah. Yeah, we are. But you can't combine that at all. There's no way to put that together. Instead, we have log base 7, just one log, of what's, what number is going to go on the top? Sure, and can you simplify it? Yeah, Order matters, right? Order definitely matters. Order definitely matters. The top number, our numerator, is our first logarithm. The second number, or the second logarithm, is our, our bottom number, that denominator. Yeah, order definitely matters. Good question. Okay, let's do a couple more here. Let's do log base 9. Of x. Minus log base 9 of 5. Now clearly we got a couple logarithms that have the same base. We have, we have 9 and 9. That's great. We're going to go ahead and we're going to combine these. Are we going to be multiplying, subtracting, dividing, or adding? Which one? Divided. Now, is it going to be a log over a log or one log? What do you think? One log. Sure. So we're going to have one log base 9. And then we'll have a fraction. We have our first logarithm on the numerator, whatever the inside of that logarithm is, over the second logarithm, which is 5 in this case, x over 5. Now, there's nothing we can do with x over 5. We just leave it. It's one way that we can put logarithms together. Okay, log base 3 of x cubed plus 4. Notice how I'm putting the x cubed plus 4 in parentheses that's saying log of that entire thing. If I didn't do that, it could be misconstrued just for people to think this and then plus 4 at the end. So we really do need to show those parentheses. Can you put these ones together? Let's go ahead and try that. We'll get, what, what, what exactly are we going to get? Why don't you tell me? Log 3. Okay, great. That's the only log I should write, right? Because I have those two logarithms. I've combined them to one. What's going to go on the numerator of my fraction? Perfect. And denominator? That's it. You try to simplify it. You can't factor any of this stuff. Can you cross out the x cubed and the x squared? No. No, no, don't no, no, do that. No, you can't do that. It's connected by addition. So you're done. That's as far as you can go on that example. Are you guys ready to try some on your own? Yeah. Good, all right. Before, before we do, I want you to write some notes just like this one that wasn't true. Write these things out. That way you, you see some common mistakes that we have on your paper. Look them over. Make sure you're not making these mistakes, all right? So a couple notes here. First thing. First thing, look back at your product property. Can you combine those? Look back at your product, look very carefully at your product property. Can you combine those? Can you combine them? Do they fit? If it doesn't look, now listen, these properties are something where if it doesn't look exactly like it does on the paper, exactly like the property, you can't do anything with it. If it doesn't look exactly like it does on the paper, you can't do anything. Does this look exactly like this one? No. 
No, this has two logarithm two logarithms that are being multiplied together. Multiplied, not added. Could you combine this? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Can you combine well that messed up? Can you combine that? That's hard to do. Can you combine that? No. No, you can't. This in no way equals this. Does not equal. If that was a plus, yeah, that would equal. That'd be, that'd be great. But you cannot combine multiplication two logarithms. There's nothing you can do with it. You just leave it. You can't do that. I'm not sure if you're okay with that. So are the rules hard? No, but they're very specific rules, and you have to have them exactly down. You have to have them exactly the way they are. Also, this doesn't equal log base 5 of x plus log base 5 of 3. That might seem silly to you. Of course, product doesn't just directly equal plus, right? You, you can't do that either. So the, this is just the way it is. You can't do anything with that. A couple other ones. I showed this to you over here, but I want to make sure you, you really see it. If you ever have a logarithm over a logarithm like that, can you combine those two logarithms? What do you think? Does it look exactly like the property that's on the paper? Does it look exactly like this? Nope, then you can't combine them. This in no way equals this. That does not equal. You can't do that. You can't put them together. They literally have to look identical to the properties I just gave you. Otherwise, you can't work with them. Also, this doesn't equal subtraction. You can't split this up by subtraction either. You can't do log 7y minus log 7, 3. Neither of those things are equal. Those are the pretty much like the four most common mistakes that I see. I see a lot of this. I see a lot. This one's, I mean, this one's, whew, it looks like it should be possible, right? Because you think, oh, well, multiplication, multiplication. But here's what that comes down to. That would be like saying this. x to the third times x to the fourth equals x to the twelfth. Is that a true statement? No, that's x to the seventh, isn't it? It's not the same. It's not the same. They, they work like exponent rules. So you, you can't just multiply your, your exponents together. That's what this would be doing. That's an exponent. That's an exponent. You don't multiply those things together. Right? That doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't compute. <clears throat> it's similar to that. It's not exactly the same, of course, but the, it's very similar to that idea. Would you raise your hand feel okay with this so far, especially these non-rules that we have over here, the ones that you can't do? All right. With that in mind, go ahead and give these examples a try. And then we'll move on. Let's do that one. So right now we're, we're just combining. I'll show you expansion in a little while.
go ahead and work on those. Remember, we're trying to combine in every case. So these properties say if we have two logarithms being added together, that's a product property. We can combine that by a product. If we have two logarithms being subtracted, that's a quotient property. We combine those with a quotient. If it's not exactly like those things, we can't do anything with it. Looks like we're about done up here, taking a couple more seconds, see if we can wrap it up. Okay, let's look at the first one. Is that combinable? Can we do something with that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for two reasons. First, we have two logarithms with a plus between it. Second, we have the common base. That means, yes, I can combine those two things. We're going to get one logarithm out of it. It'll have the same base. And we're going to, what, what's going to be on the inside? Sure. Not plus, not plus. We can't combine logarithms with a plus. We say if we have two logarithms being added, that's the same thing as a product of the inside of those logarithms. That means we'll get log, log base 2 of 3 is how that, how that said. Log base 2 of 3. Raise your hand if you got log base 2 of 3. That's good. That's great. That's great. Okay, next one. Can you combine these two? It's got, it's got subtraction in there, right? That's, that's, that's good. That's part of our quotient property. We've got common bases. That's great. That means we can actually put these things together. So on the right-hand side, how exactly would you write that? Log base what, first of all? Log base, are you going to have one log base 6 or two log base 6s? Remember, you're, you're combining things. You're trying to change two logarithms into one logarithm. You don't want two anymore. You would try to make it one. Okay, great. Now what? Good, x over 3, because we say we take the first logarithm, that becomes the numerator of some fraction, and the second logarithm becomes the denominator of that fraction. There's nothing we can do with that. We're done in that case. Did you make it that far? All right, good. All right. Next up, how about this one? Can you combine these two? Sure, yeah, it's plus, same bases. That means we're going to have a single log, base 5, are we going to add those or multiply those? So you should have x minus 1, x plus 1. Yes? yes. All right. Could you distribute that? Yeah. yeah, if you wanted to. You get x squared minus 1. If you distribute, you get x squared minus 1. Just make sure you have parentheses around it. You can't leave it without parentheses. So if you did this, if you did that, 